today is August 13th and I wanted to do a video update of the CNC machine. Uh, the machine is, uh, the frame of the machine is mostly 8020's uh, extrusion. Uh, I got it all off the eBay store. It is mostly 2020 which means it is 2 inches wide by 2 inches tall. And I have a piece of 1018 cold rolled steel which is a bearing support block, or a bearing profile basically where I'll have bearings that write on this to support the uh, wide gantry. Now this is bolted to the bottom of the, the extrusion using uh, quarter 20 bolts. They can run the length of the between the two legs which is 36 inches. Now the holes in, the ex in this uh, steel are bigger here so that way I can adjust it and pull it in and out to apply the tension to the bearings that will ride on this. And for the support arms here, I have um, this is 6061 aluminum, also ordered off the eBay store, and, uh, uh, 8020's eBay store. And this side will support the motor, and this side will support the the bearing mounts for the lead screws. Now these brackets, uh, you can order them individual brackets for five dollars from the 8020 online store. Uh, I recommend it if you have the money. If not, you can take a, the long route, which would be order this angle iron from them, which is about seven dollars for two feet, and you can cut them and drill all these holes by yourself. It's a lot of work, but as you can see, I have one here, uh, one here, one back here, uh, three more over there, and two more in the back. I got them all over the place, so that'd be a lot of money, and I decided to make my own brackets. Now, other than that, I have to give credit to Radio Shack 7 for the design of my Y gantry. Um, I copied his idea by putting the 8020's bearing profile on the side of the 6 inch wide, quarter inch thick aluminum. This helps uh, make the structure a lot more rigid and uh, that's the exact same purpose he did it. Now both uh, supports are attached solely by this piece of 1030 at the moment. Um, there will be another piece of 240 just like he did on uh, the back side to support uh, his cable tray and uh, also add some rigidity to the system. Now this is another piece of 1018 cold rolled steel, quarter inch thick, four inches wide. Uh, it will be 29.25 inches long and this will bolt straight to that piece of extrusion. And the Z-axis is a pre-purchased unit from eBay. It's uh, six and a half inches of travel. Uh, there's plenty more work to do. So with that, I'll leave you with this. And I'll be sure to post an update shortly. Thank you.